Here is in French, but uh, what, what's written over here? This was put by the former director of UNESCO mm -hmm. for the 200 years anniversary of the abolition of slave trade. So in, two, in 2007, it was 200 years. And the commemoration of the advent of anniversary of the abolition of slave trade. Abolition. Yeah. So when the slave trade finished. Yeah. Okay, I am asking men, so the get of Fotogo or a slave house. So I would like to say, here was the place where they used to put a slave before their departure from Togo, yeah. Mm -hmm. But everything started from 1830 to finish in 1852. Yes. So on 1st January 1852, they have signed a treaty of abolition. And that was held in Lagos, Nigeria. Then apart from this, they have sent what we call rare staff on which they put a message of abolition to all of the kings in the coastal region. By that moment, they used to capture us there from the extreme north of Togo, like from Chamba, Sokode, Atakwame, Noche, and so. Then they gather them in markets behind the lake we call Blokotisime in the poor village. It was over there that they bring this there from here, he died to here, put him then through the entrance we have under the building here. Here to go inside the cave. And the, inside the cave, they used to spend days and weeks before the ship arrived. But when the ship was there, they took them award by here again, going so far away to take the last bath, qualify as a purification bath. They were taking it uh, around the well known as Gatovdo or Chen, the people where, where they used to take this bath. So when they were taking the bath two days, they threw this obliged or forced them to walk seven times around the well as a ritual to put them into confusion to forget the way back home, to forget forever Africa on their back too. And after they put them to the small embarkation, from this embarkation to the ship, and from the ship now to the last destination. Mm -hmm. So this uh, architecture is called the style Afro-Brazilian. The mm -hmm. upstairs was for the slave traders and the downstairs for the slaves. So let's go up now for the place where they used to put them before. The corridor here, because we have three corridors. We have the eastern one, the western one, and the southern one. So we are now in the southern one here. Mm -hmm. That means they slave you to pass by this corridor to get into the central cave. Okay. So, Going underground. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go back now to the central cave. Yeah. Living room, and as you can see here in the area, accommodations, and these and those furnitures, memory too. And when the slave traders were eating and drinking around the table here, the slave used to be in this cave. Wow. So, 
Formerly there was no light inside them. They used to live into total darkness there. But today we have light inside to show people what this can be. Even today it's possible for every visitor to go in and imagine themselves to experience themselves. Yes. If you want to go to sit down here, to go in now. Sit down there first. These were one of the positions they still used to live inside that you are now here. It's dark, you cannot stretch out, you cannot stand up. It was meant to confuse people about time. And there was no light, of course, there was no electricity and everything, but even then they didn't put nothing. So, yeah. Okay. This high, and uh, yeah. the people kept like animals over here, even worse. So, here was this uh, master's bedroom. His bed dressed in here before. These are his former armchair, wardrobe, and they are safe. They lived good. Yeah. And here, down down here was uh, the tunnel still. Yeah, they, they used to they stay there, they slept. They also stay there. Mm -hmm. These are parts of from the visit we used to do here. We just show people about what the handcraft can be in this house. Passport. 